So now, the first six chapters in Daniel was Daniel's history in Babylon. And that time is from 612 to 539. Now, from about 607 to 583, that was the time that they were taken captive. And it happened in three stages. So nobody can really tell you. They think Daniel came with the first lot. But there was three stages that the people were taken captive to Babylon. And when King Cyrus came in, um, there was three stages that they went back. Two and three. There's three stages that they went back. But more or less, this is the time of Babylon. Now, after Babylon came King Cyrus, Darius first, and then Cyrus. There was four of them. And from Babylon to 232 was the time of the Medes, Medo-Persians. Persia. It was a dual kingdom. A dual kingdom. This was a single kingdom, a dual kingdom. Then came a crazy, 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 crazy young man. He died at the age of, I think, 30. And he died drunk in the city of Babylon. And he, he had a flu, but he was drunk and he died at the age of 30. After conquering the whole world. Now what happened is they took over by them and they took over by them. And this was Greece. Greece. And then came Rome right through. Okay, this is world history. Okay, these are the dates. So the first six chapters in Daniel. Come on, let's go through them. Chapter 1, they arrive. Chapter 2, the king had a dream. Chapter 3, the king made a statue. And we have the fiery furnace. Chapter 4... Uh, there was, the king had another dream of this big tree that was chopped down and the king became like an animal. Chapter 5 was the handwriting on the wall that said you have been weighed and you've been found to light. That was already, that was chapter 4, was already going through here. Okay. And then <laughs> chapter um Five was the handwriting, the handwriting on the wall. And chapter six was Daniel in the lion's den. Now, everything that happened there was pictures <laughs> of Jesus Christ. Like Jesus was in the lion's den, the lion of Judah in the lion's den. It was a picture of those lions didn't even touch him. Then starts Chapter 7. Now, chapter 7, 8, 19, and 11, and 12. The last six chapters in Daniel is where Daniel all of a sudden start having dreams. So the first six chapters of Daniel is more or less in this area here. Okay. Can you see it? I hope they can see it there. Then... Chapter 7, 8, chapter 7 starts, starts here and it takes them right through. So chapter 7, Daniel dreams and it takes us right back from here right through. Chapter 8, Daniel dreams. And it takes us from here right through. Chapter 9 is one of the biggest messianic prophecies that you can get. Because it takes you from when they are released to go back right through. And it comes back to the last week in Daniel 70 weeks. Now, I know if you sit here, some of you young people are like, 
where is this woman going? Come, let me show you where I'm going. Chapter 1, they arrive, and Daniel says, I will not compromise. And he is found more clever than all the musicians in that whole place. He is number one. And right through the six chapters, every time there's trouble, they ask everybody except number one. So there's a lot of undermining. There's a lot of unfairness that came to Daniel. But what did he do? <laughs> he didn't fall for the king's table. Why would he fall for what people say about him? Come on, guys. This is Old Testament without the Spirit. How much more? Come on. Compromise is the language of the devil. And God wants young people to stand up and say, I'll serve God. Sorry, go smoke alone. I'm not doing that. Do you understand? But we are so intimidated with our friends and everybody. But if these young people could give us a picture of it, I'm sure there's more people that can do it today. Come on. There's nothing like serving God. Now, the second chapter of Daniel is a very, very important chapter. Daniel starts having, the king started, he had a dream. But he was totally disturbed by the dream. He was so upset that he wouldn't even tell the magicians what the dream is because it left him. But he was disturbed because God gave him the dream. <laughs> Come on, we read it, that God gives to you in your sleep to reveal to you these things in Job. It says it, Job 32, 33. Now, the dream is the most important thing that happens to the rest of the Bible from the time of Daniel because it runs right through to the book of Revelation. It covers the whole time. Okay, he had a dream of a huge statue. This is about the first thing that happened. There was a head of gold. Everybody say gold. Then there is breast, uh, a breast of silver. Everybody say silver. Then there is bronze, bronze, and then there is legs of iron. Everybody say iron. Can you see how much, how many parts are there? One, two, three, four. Four meaning the number of the earth, the number of the natural. Okay, what was in the beginning? There was enmity between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman that was to come was the Christ. But the seed of the serpent was the Antichrist. So what do we have here? We have the spirit of the Antichrist standing up with his man. And what happened, God took the people that were disobedient right to the seat of Satan. And not even that could stop the Christ from coming. Yeah.